Again, captain for your Bulldogs, number one, P.Q. Parent. Number five, David Williams. Number 16, Jack Lawrence. And number 74, David Here's the kickoff. DJ Starling, number 21 for Butler, with a nice kickoff return to set up the Bulldogs in great starting field position. However, the Roseville defense on third down right here. Nice tackle on the screen attempt by Zach Morris, and then Roseville will get the ball back. Devon Thomas had a big game on the ground. Here he is breaking off a big run, getting the ball in the Bulldogs territory. Quarterback Braden Atkinson for Roseville drops back. He's going to find receiver Gavin Waddell behind the defense for a touchdown and an 8 0 lead. Roseville will score on a two point conversion for an 8 0 lead. Now, Butler's going to come back, and this is Zach Lawrence. Promised this happened. It was an 84 yard touchdown pass to the Quadri Curry so fast, I couldn't keep up with him. <laughs> but he cut the score to 8 7. Roseville comes back. Now, this is a big run right here by number zero. That's Devon Thomas once again. Getting the ball down into Bulldog territory. Now the handoff goes to number three. Um, I believe that's Jonathan Hennett with a big run right there. Now, here's a defensive stop for Butler in the backfield. Uh, I feel like they might get some momentum going here. And they're able to force a field goal by... Kicker Riley Daniels got a 30-yard field goal, makes it 11 to 7. Roseville up over Butler. And there's Devon Thomas once again with another big run, getting the ball down deep into Bulldog territory. However, the Bulldog defense will step up with the interception right here in the end zone, giving their offense a chance to get things going, to keep the game close. However, on the next play from scrimmage, we're going to see a fumble right here. The Roseville defense answers, recovers the fumble, and then it's going to set up a nice touchdown right here on the screen pass from Atkinson to his man, Devon Thomas, having a huge first half. Roseville is going to go up 19-7 after that touchdown. Roseville rolling right here. Devon Thomas, another big run. This gets called back. You see the hurdle right there. Can't hurdle in high school. It is a penalty. So this touchdown did not count. However, it didn't matter. Atkinson will find Davis Brown on the tight end screen for the touchdown pass. Roseville now up 26-7, starting to run away with it. However, Butler's going to stay in it right here. Zach Lawrence finding Jaden Williams at the backfield. He can catch the ball in the backfield really well. Nice gain right there. And then on the draw play from about 30 yards out, there's Jaden Williams once again getting the Butler Bulldogs back in the game. Now down 26 to 14. At this point, we thought it would be a game. We felt like things were getting under control. On the ensuing kickoff right here, a big kickoff return by Roseville's Marion Turner. It's going to set up the Rams deep down in Butler Bulldog territory. And there's that man, Devon Thomas, going to pay it off once again. Another touchdown run makes it 33-14. And then rolls with the surprise onside kick. They get the ball off the surprise onside. And as a result of that, they set up another touchdown run. This time by number two, Amir Brown. That makes it 40-14, to 14, and at this point, Roseville was totally in control. Butler trying to get back in it. Zach Lawrence is going to get picked off by number six, Marquise Bryant. And that sets up, once again, the Rams offense with good field position. That was a theme all night long. Great field position. They give it off the stretch play to number two, Amir Brown. He gets it in the end zone. That's another touchdown. 47-14, Roseville. Butler still trying to get it. There's one with a nice pass over the middle. Just can't sustain anything. Atkinson's going deep to his man right there. That's Gavin Waddell on the big catch. And that's going to set up 
Another Devon Thomas touchdown run. It is 54 to 14. We're still in the first half. Butler fumbles. Can't get anything going on offense. Great field position sets up the field goal right before halftime by Riley Daniels. 57 to 14 at the half. Roseville all over Butler. Second half. Butler not going out. They got a lot of pride in that program. There's Jaden Williams with a big run, getting the ball down into Roseville territory. And then quarterback Zach Morris is going to drop back. He's going to find his receiver over the middle right here, the Quadre Currents. Too much pride in the Butler program to just go out without a fight. However, this uh, tip ball interception really snuffed out any hope the Butler had. This play was called back by Marion Turner for a block in the back that you probably saw right there. But it was over. 64-14 to final. Roseville big win over. But 